Good day grade 10s, welcome to your first lesson in week number 20 and we're looking at Euclidean geometry still. Today we're looking at rectangles, we're looking specifically at rectangles. So rectangles are special parallelograms, they are parallelograms that have all four angles equal to 90 degrees. So you will see that, if I just change this to a pen, you will see that we've got still that our opposite sides are parallel and this side here is parallel and that side there is parallel so and the reason for that is because of the fact that the up this is a parallelogram but what's special about a rectangle is that specifically all the angles are equal to 90 degrees now let's talk about the properties of a rectangle First of all, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. We expected that for the simple reason that this is a special case of a parallelogram. Also, both pairs of opposite sides are equal in length. Again, because this is a parallelogram and a special case of parallelogram, we expected this. Now we've got both pairs of opposite angles are equal, which is true for parallelogram, but what's specific for a rectangle is that all the angles are equal to 90 degrees. All the angles are equal to 90 degrees. And finally, we've got both diagonals bisect each other, which we knew about already, because that was for what happened in the parallelogram. But now we've got also that they are equal in length. In other words, that because the diagonals are equal in length, they, when they bisect each other, we've got four equal half lengths. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a proof. And we're going to prove, the, this is the proof, the diagonals are equal in length. So again, we're going to be using congruency. And we're going to be looking at triangle ADC and triangle BCD. So let me just draw this here. So we've got, we're going to look at A, D, C and we're going to be looking at angle, triangle B, C, D. Okay, B, C, D. So there's several ways that we can prove that these triangles are congruent. Okay, but remember that a rectangle is a special case of a parallelogram. So what do we already know? We know that AB is parallel to DC. We know that AD is parallel to BD. We know that all these angles are 90 degrees because we've been told that this is a rectangle. So we know that those are all equal. And we also know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length. So now let's look at our triangles ADC and BCD. So in the blue triangle, do you agree that we know that AD is equal to BC? Why? Because this is a property of a parallelogram as well as a rectangle. So we can say, I'm going to write it a little bit further over so I can have space. In fact, I'm going to write it a little bit lower. So I've got space for my reasons. So in triangle ADC and triangle BCD, we know that length AD is equal to length BC. And why? Because this is a property of a rectangle or a parallelogram if you prefer. Okay, now let's look at this. We also know that DC is common in both of these. So we can say DC equals DC. Why? Because it's common in both. And then finally, we know that angle ADC, ADC is equal to angle BCD, BCD, why ADC is equal to angle BDC, which equals 90 degrees. And why, again, because this is a property of a rectangle. Right, so what do we have? We therefore have triangle ADC, triangle ADC is congruent, sorry, congruent, to triangle BCD. 
tri congruent to be triangle BCD. Why? Because we've got side, angle, side, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So what does that mean? That means that the length of AC has to equal the length of BD. AC has to be the equal to the length of BD. Therefore, AC equals BD. So we have proven that the diagonals are equal in length. Right, grade tens, that is all when it comes to rectangles. You need to learn the properties, you need to be able to understand them, you need to be able to recite them, use them, and then prove using congruency the different properties. Thank you, grade tens. Have an awesome day.